Hi Starlings, welcome to my sector of the universe. This is Jasmine Capella Wellness here to help you step into your truth and start into your power. For those of you who've never been here before, welcome. Thank you so very much for being here for the first time. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much for coming back. And to my subscribers, thank you so much for your love, your loyalty, and support. It means the world to me. If you haven't clicked on the subscribe button, go ahead and do so now. Put your positive energies into this Capella family and click on the notification bell so that you get notified as to when I put new readings out and to include when I go live. If you would like a personal reading or a coaching session, or if you would like to sign up for a 14-day free trial of one of my Capella memberships, check out the description box below or go to capellawellness.com. The memberships include um, entries into free drawings monthly. You get daily guidance videos. You get to directly chat with me on my mobile app. You get to meet some amazing people there and um, join a, a, a tighter knit group in that um, realm, I should say. All right. If you have any questions about anything at all, please don't feel hesitant to contact me. My information is in the description box below. With that being said, let's get into your reading. Hey there, Taurus. Welcome to your reading. How are you? I hope you are well. And everything is going fantastic in the world. I send you much love and many blessings as I usually do. All right, Taurus. Uh, we're going to stick to these readings for now. Where I'm just going to ask one question and we'll get guidance. We're going to talk about what we need to work on again this time around. For those of you who are new, I normally don't do readings like this, but my guides are changing up a lot of things with what I do for my channel. So uh, I always follow the guidance of my spirit team. So there it is. But anyway, Taurus, we're going to see what is going, what you need to work on at this time. Holy Spirit, guides, angels, galactic families, plain and serious, please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. What does Taurus need to work on at this time? Holy Spirit, guides, angels, galactic families, Pleiadian Syrians, please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. All righty, Taurus. Five of coins, five of coins, Taurus. That's your energy with earth. We've got Gemini energy at the bottom of the deck. We have the magician. You may be dealing with a Gemini, but it doesn't have to be either have Gemini in your chart or you do, but let's not get hung up on the signs. So what you need to work on, <clears throat> your money, your money mindset, okay? I'm hearing abundance mindset. There is also a self-worth issue, lack of self-confidence issue, lack mentality. Some of you are focusing too much on not having enough. I don't have this. I don't have that. I don't have love. I don't have money. I don't have the job that I want. When you are putting all of your energy out into I don't have, I don't have, I don't have, I'm lacking, I'm yearning, it's not here, you attract more of it, Taurus. Like attracts like, okay? Some of you are dealing with financial hardship. Some of you went bankrupt. Some of you, um, there was health issues. Some of you got to work really on your health. There is also an energy here with the health thing, guys. For those of you that's resonating with, take remember to take what resonates, leave what doesn't for somebody else who's watching this. Keep your unhealthy ego at the door. Make sure you're honest with yourself in your situation. <coughs> for those of you who have health issues, you are focusing on my head hurts, my, my kidneys hurt, my knees hurt, my back hurts, uh, I can't see straight, like I, I have all of these ailments, I'm not getting better. You guys, and I have to tell it to you straight because I only speak truth here. <coughs> <coughs> You're being a Debbie Downer about it, guys. You are focusing on the wrong thing here. You're focusing on the low vibrational stuff with this. And I'm not trying to say that having an illness or having health issues, it's something to just dismiss or something to overlook. No. But when you keep telling yourself, 
I'm not getting any better. It's never going to happen that I'm going to get past this. Like, let's say you get a test result <clears throat> and a doctor says one thing and you make it your life. That does not dictate what happens. God is in full control, not the doctor, not the test report, not your bank account statement when it says it has $5 in it. God is in control here, Taurus. You go to God, you seek help. This is about getting the help that you need. You do not have to go through this alone. Usually the five of pentacles, they're talking about being outside the church. Some of these people look like they're inside a church. <clears throat> I don't see anybody praying. I see somebody a little bit hesitant looking up at the sky saying, I don't know, is God going to answer my prayer? Is God going to hear my prayer? Are they going to listen to me? Maybe some of you are praying about things. I'm praying for a better job. I'm praying for more money, right? You may be in a wilderness season. Okay, I'm praying for better health. But here's the thing, guys. If you don't believe in the health, you don't believe that you will get better. You don't believe you can make more money. You don't believe that you're already abundant. You don't believe all of these things. You're thinking the opposite, which is low vibrational. You are going to attract more of that. You have to focus on your divine health here because you are a divine child of God. You are a, a spiritual being living a human experience. It's not the other way around. So some of you need to change your mentality about money, about your health, about your certain cir your, your circumstances, whatever hardships you're dealing with, flip it around. Look at the silver lining. Look at what you do have. Be grateful for what you do have. And if you need the support, there is support for you, Taurus. There are people to help you get through whatever you're getting through especially when you're trying to look at things from a more spiritual standpoint to help you change your abundant mindset, to help you change the way you look at yourself, the way you value yourself. You are way more than enough, Taurus. Other people who put you down, other people who tell you you're worthless or you're not capable of having that job or that salary or whatever, it's bullshit. Do not listen to them. You need to know your worth and say, I am capable of doing anything. I am able to overcome all of this. Okay. <clears throat> and any health issues you may have, pray about it. Think of it as I am getting better. I am no longer suffering from X, Y, Z. I am healthy. I am abundant. I have, uh, I am uh, full of vitality. I am full of fortitude and willpower and life force energy of vigor, all these things. When you reset your mind, Taurus, to think about I am this, that I am presence is very potent. It changes everything in your life. I know it did for me. And especially when my energy dips to this, I start to doubt, I start to lose a little bit of self-confidence because it still happens to me, guys. We're human and the devil tries to get us even when our emotions dip a little bit, whoosh, that's when the devil comes in and tries to put you into a lower vibration. Nope. You clear, cancel, release that negative thought, that feeling, that uh, belief about yourself. And you start to program your mind with who you really are because you are bigger than that. You are greater than that. You are worthy of whatever it is. It doesn't matter if you fucked up in life. It doesn't matter if you've made mistakes. It doesn't matter if you made poor choices with your money, with your jobs, with your relationships. They were all lessons for you to learn. You don't have to be in a low place. You don't have to be in a deep, dark dungeon, Taurus. You have the ability to come out there. You've got to look at your life and say, what can I change? Five is about change. I'm getting this vision of somebody having a handout, their handout. Please give me change. Some of you may be falling into victimhood. Oh, I can't do anything about my situation and I'm not condoning the homeless. Please do not say that. Please do not throw that out there. I'm, I'm telling you what I'm seeing. You know, woe is me. <coughs> pity. Have pity on me. I need help. But are you helping yourself first? God helps those who help themselves first. God needs you to meet you halfway with this five of coins. He's saying, okay, okay, Taurus. I know that you are in a dark place. 
I know the money's not there. I know that you're going through dire straits. I know that there's hardships. I know that there's health issues. But meet me halfway, Taurus. I need you to come to me. This is you going to God first and foremost, going to your angels, whomever, going to a therapist, going to a counselor, going to a spiritual coach, whatever this is. You go to whatever God is calling you to head towards, but it's God first and foremost. You pray about it. You ask for forgiveness. You ask for guidance and God will give it to you. But here's the other thing. You got to follow through with what God says, because sometimes God tells us to do things that we don't want to do. It's about obedience. But in order to get that prayer answer, in order to get that blessing, in order to come out of this wilderness season, this darkness, you need to meet him halfway and do your part. If you've got to let go of that mentality, do it. If you've got to leave that job, do it. If you've got to leave that relationship, do it. He's calling you to do something you don't want to do. That's where the blessing comes in. Even if you lose everything, what you gain will be so much greater and so much more lasting than you could ever experience. And God blesses those more who give up on those things that are not for their highest good, who are obedient to God, who do not, who do not look at themselves as victims because you are actually a victor. You are a champion of the people. You are a divine being of God. You're not a low life. You're not a victim. You are not worthless, Taurus. You have unlimited potential. But you got to be the change you wish to see. And stop kind of like peddling and just be like, oh, you know, my life sucks. I'm like seeing Eeyore, like my life sucks and this is not really great. I can't do anything about my life. Yes, you can. <clears throat> I know for me, I used to get rejected a lot in relationships, jobs, promotions. But that rejection was protection. I used to feel like, oh man, nobody sees my worth. This, 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 and that. But what I wasn't looking at was I wasn't valuing myself first. I wasn't telling myself, I'm a badass. Okay, they rejected me. They missed out on something superior. They missed, and I'm not being conceited. This is confidence. Don't get it twisted. I, they missed out on somebody great. They missed out on a great leader. They missed great on a great um, um, teammate, whatever this is, right? The loss is on them. The loss is not you. The loss is not for you, okay? But just know this is happening for a reason. It's getting you to see what do you really value. And some of you, it's getting you to go to God for guidance, for assistance, to go to other people. You don't have to do this alone. Help is available to you right now and whatever help God is sending you. And whatever it is that you're being rejected from, being left out of the cold, being told no, not getting support, or being told you're gonna, there's a terminal illness, you're gonna die, there's gonna be this, there's gonna be that, you have the power to change it because God makes everything possible. But again, you have to be the one to rise up from the darkness. You gotta be the one to raise your vibration. Victimhood stems from you giving your power away. Think about how you gave your power to somebody else, why somebody may have treated you poorly, okay? Did you value yourself enough? Did you know your self-worth? Did you go around having a pity party, being Eeyore or be, being Debbie Downer and be like, oh, you know, nothing works out for me and I'm just going to live my life and mope around? If you don't like where you are, Taurus, change it. This is a big message about you, again, got to be the change you wish to see. It starts with you. It's like that Michael Jackson song. I'm starting with the man in the mirror. I'm asking him to change his ways. If you want to make the world a better place, then look at yourself and what? Make that change. Michael Jackson is now coming into my reading. He's actually one of my spirit guides believe it or not. Okay. 
It starts with you, Taurus. It starts with you. Change your mindset about yourself, your environment, your life, your views on things, your abundance mindset, the way you look at money. Money is not evil, by the way. For somebody who thinks money is evil, it's not. It's an exchange of energy. God wants us to be wealthy. He wants us to have abundance in all areas of life. He does not want us to be in this wilderness season. He doesn't want us to struggle with whatever hardships. There's purpose in the pain. There's lessons to learn from the struggles. It helps us to be stronger and more resilient and really have that confidence to go after what it is that we want. We don't have people to be like coming down on us and be, oh, I'm so sorry that you're this. Yeah, I know it sucks, doesn't it? And it's like, oh, poor Taurus. But be careful with that because then people are going to look at you like, and I have to, I have to say this Taurus and I love you dearly. I do. But I'm hearing the word beggar, right? Because sometimes people look at these beggars as like some of them don't help people like that, right? They just go about their own merry way. And some people say, well, I've been giving that person $5 every single week and they're still there, right? And then it, you start having this low vibrational mentality about that person, about you stopping giving money or whatever, Sometimes people will see what you're doing <clears throat> I need help I'm a victim I need you to help me I'm going through distress yes people will help you but if it becomes a mindset for you it becomes repetitive you're going to attract eventually more of what you are experiencing and then sometimes people won't help you Sometimes people won't support you. It depends. Other cases, if you are dealing with a wilderness season, right? And you're not getting the support. You're not getting the clients. You're not getting the sales. You're not getting this. You're not getting that. Your, your finances are low, no matter how hard you work. God is preparing you for something bigger. Because with this magician card here, you are the alchemist. You are the one who creates your reality, your thoughts, your ideas about yourself, about the world, about people. The magic is within you, Taurus. You are the one who magically makes the change. But you got to believe in that magic too. <clears throat> it's like that book, The Magician. I mean, The Alchemist. What you're looking for is right under your nose, Taurus. Okay? You create your reality. You have all the tools that you need. God always gave you the tools and the talents that you need. Use what he's given you to build something for yourself, to get you out of this five of coins energy. You got to be the one to do it. You want a new beginning? Take the initiative. Take action. God's telling you to do something, Taurus, you do it. Because you have all the power and all the ability and all the tools in the world to make the life that you want. I had to learn that the hard way. And I also had to change my mindset about money, believing that I was always abundant because why? We're children of God. God is always abundant and so are we. God always provides what we need. God is your only source and supply. And I watched my thoughts, especially when I kept being rejected by jobs and, or promotions or being promoted or relationships or getting kicked out of something. People saying no. God was protecting me. And sometimes we got to hit rock bottom. Sometimes we got to go into this place where like, oh my gosh, I just lost everything or almost everything. But God always brings a new beginning because he wants to clear out all that stuff. But again, you got to do your part. Whatever God tells you, you get that idea, that thought, you take action. You take the initiative and start 
creating a new beginning for yourself based on what you are manifesting, based on what you are vibrating at. What you're trying to manifest, Taurus, for some of you, you're not in alignment with that because your vibration is too low. You're not believing in yourself. You're not even believing in the magic of God, of the universe, in yourself. The pity party is not going to help. You focusing on your health issues, your, your hardships, focusing on the dark stuff, the low stuff is not going to help you manifest what you really want to manifest. You got to get into alignment with the magician and understand your power to create whatever it is that you want. And sometimes the bigger the manifestation, the longer it takes to come to fruition. There's somebody else here taking the initiative, making something happen, utilizing what God has given you and trusting in the universe and saying, I can make this beginning happen. I am not going to be fearful of rejection. I'm not going to be fearful of, of being left out in the cold. I am worthy of this new beginning. I am worthy of having the life that I want. So somebody else here is making stuff happen with the magic and the tools that God gave them <clears throat> to get over this sense of worthlessness, lack of self-confidence, self-doubt, self-pity, woe is me, victimhood. Because a magician is not a victim. It's Major Arcana. He is responsible for the life that he lives. And if you are in a wilderness season and nothing is working out for you, it's building your power. It's trying to get you to see, can you go through this struggle? Can you go through this wilderness before I bring you a windfall of abundance? Before I make things magically appear in your life? Before I give you that new beginning, it's all going to be glorious and wonderful because some of you are manifesting things that are huge. You're going to go from having a hardship, whether it's health, whether it's, you know, not getting clients or sales or getting support from people or, or, or having um, financial issues. You're going to go from that. To having things magically appear. People magically coming into your life to help you with whatever it is you're asking for help for. People magically coming to your life to help you with your finances, with your business, whatever this is, your health. It's like poof, abracadabra. Good fortune. Synchronous events happening. Magical things happening in your life. One after the other. Because you have manifested it. You did not allow yourself to fall victim to what was going on around you. You didn't allow yourself to fall victim to all the rejection, all of the, 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 the negative things happen in your life. You still stayed aligned with God and you still continued to create that life. You still continue to be in a high vibration to manifest. Because again, some of you are manifesting big things. The longer, the, the bigger the manifestation, the longer it takes. And that wilderness season for some of you is a huge test to see if you're going to allow your 3D environment to affect your mentality. If you're going to allow this lack to affect your mindset, to affect your abilities, to affect your power and your magic. And some of you, you didn't allow that to happen. So some is taking the initiative and not falling victim to all these things anymore. No more worthlessness, no more self-doubt, lack of self-confidence, no more feeling like a victim, no more dire straits, no more hardships. You're like, this is not me. This is not the life that want, want, God wants for me. I got to stay high vibrational. And I'm going to utilize my magic and what I've been given to make what I want in life a reality. <coughs> okay. There is a new beginning here for some of you, but you got to do your part. You got to raise your vibration. You are the key here, Taurus. Your power, your light, 
Do not let your current circumstances dim your light. Do not let anyone dim your light because you, again, are a child of God. You are the alchemist, the magician. You create your life and you have the power to manifest whatever it is that you want. But you've got to be in this Queen of Wands energy and you have to stop trying to control every situation because some of you are trying to control everything. You may be very demanding or you're dealing with somebody who's very demanding. Take it how it resonates, but be honest with yourself. You may be um, trying to juggle too many things, which is causing your health to fail or causing you to uh, <coughs> not have enough money or whatever this is. You have more power than you realize. Let God help you. Some of you need to stop being stubborn and stop having people control your life or you have full control of your life. That it's got to be my way or the highway. It's not it. Watch your attitude towards this. <coughs> Some of you get a little bit irate and temperamental when you get rejected. When you're dealing with difficulties. God's trying to show you something bigger here, Taurus. Watch your temper. I'm hearing somebody may be cursing God. You got to meet him halfway. You got to be the one to get out of this. You got to change your mindset. Again, you got to be the change you wish to see. Then God will work with you on what it is you're trying to create and what it is you're trying to manifest. God is not obligated to help you if you don't help yourself, Taurus. That is the truth right there. God does not put anyone into victim mode. That is self-inflicted, if that makes sense. Nobody puts you in a corner, guys. You put yourselves in corners because of your mindset. You guys are way better than that. That's for some of you, not for all of you. But again, be honest with your situation. Please uh, reveal to us for our highest good Holy Spirit, Archangels. What guidance do we have for Taurus? I'm hearing it again. Somebody's cursing God. Somebody's mad with God, bad with somebody. Somebody gets pissed off, you know, something with money issues, or they keep having health issues or money issues or all the above or not getting the help that they need or they think that God is not helping them. If you're coming from a place of lack, if you're believing that, if you're believe, having low thoughts about yourself and your situation, how is God going to help you? Some of you got to do more praying. You got to go to other people more, your guides more. But again, you have to raise your vibration. <coughs> God will help you with that, but you got to do that on your own. Prosperity. That's like energy of Queen of Pentacles and contemplation. Prosperity is a state of success and feeling fortunate. You just need to adjust your mindset. The secret to prosperity is a joyful attitude. It means having fun and holding on to your aspirations lightly so as to not quash the energy. Counting our blessings and feeling grateful for what we already have will start the process of bringing the spirit of prosperity to our lives. They're just confirming what I said. Watch your mindset. Adjust it. It's a positive mindset, an abundant mindset, not a negative, low vibrational mindset, Taurus. Your thoughts create your reality. When you are in a low scarcity mindset, it's dark, it's, da it's dank. That's the environment you create for yourself. That is what you're attracting. When you're being joyful, when you're being grateful for what you have, even if you're going through a financial hardship, even if you've got a health issue, Let's say you have a health issue, but you have a home, but you're only focusing on your health issue. You're attracting more of the health issues. Look 
at all the people who probably have health issues and who are homeless. Be thankful for the problems you do not have, Taurus. Count your blessings. Be grateful to God for what you do have in your life. Contemplation. This priestess is happy and content, and as she looks back and reflects on her life, she knows that she has done her best. When the Priestess of Contemplation appears, it represents an excellent opportunity to reflect on your life experiences and the insights you have gained from them. It signifies a time of reflection, a time to glean a deeper understanding of why you are here. This card encourages quiet moments of meditation and deep thought, kind of like the uh, Hermit, right? It's the bottom of the deck. Change your mindset to thoughts of prosperity. I am prosperous. I am abundant. I am bountifully supplied with money, especially for those of you who are dealing with money problems. And even if you deal with money problems, you still have a joyful mindset. And when you're still having kind of difficulties in that realm, you still have other things. It's that for some of you, God is testing you because there, for some, there is a big manifestation that's coming. God's trying to see if you are still going to be happy, even though things are not working out right now for you. God blesses those who are still joyful, who are still grateful, even through the dark times, even through the hardships. Those people are still alive. They could probably still eat, right? Maybe have a place to sleep. Glean a deeper understanding of why you're here. I talked about, think about why you are where you are, why your mindset is the way that it is. It's time to flip it around, Taurus. <clears throat> you got to start with the man with the woman in the mirror. Listen to that song. It'll inspire you. And when you change... Your environment changes. The people around you change. I am a huge testament to that because when I changed my mentality, I stopped feeling like a victim. I stopped feeling like, woe is me. I can keep, people don't support me. People reject me. I changed that mindset. Later on, even my ex-husband started to change for the better. My son, even, he started to have more confidence in himself. Just like I started to have confidence in myself. He started to have less issues with anxiety. He has self-performance uh, performance anxiety issues. I had the same thing, but in a different capacity. I shifted. My son shifted. My ex-husband shifted. People around me that I was dealing with started to change too. But it starts with us first, okay? That is what, is, that is what God is calling you to do. You can do this. Seek the help. Don't be ashamed of getting help, okay? Don't feel like you're not worthy of getting help or you're gonna, you're, someone's going to judge you or chastise you because God's going to bring you destiny helpers. God is going to bring you the people who are here to support you and not judge you and not chastise you and not criticize you and not put you in a lower place. Okay? There is help for you here but you have to go after that help and you cannot go into this thinking that <clears throat> uh like you feel ashamed of it you don't need to be out in this cold on your own are you unwilling to accept help from others ask yourself why that is what are you really missing in your life you need more love. You need more health. You feel unlucky. Change your mindset and believe that you are lucky. Because if you're watching this, you're already lucky because you're still alive. You're not in a hospital. You're not in a war-torn country. You're not searching for bread to eat right now. You're able to see. You're able to hear. That's being lucky, Taurus.
okay? People are here to help you. You don't have to go through this alone. These negative thoughts are creating self-fulfilling prophecies for some of you. And if there's, there might be a business thing for some of you where you have a business and it's it's self-employed and you know the money's not coming in, whatever, you're not getting the support, the clients, like I said, prosperity is coming to you. Just have a positive mindset. Because for some, there's a big manifestation coming with your business, with your life, for those of you who are maintaining a high vibration even through the wilderness, okay? All right, Taurus, I hope this reading helped you. If you would like a personal reading with me or a coaching session, or if you want to sign up for one of my Capella memberships where you get access to daily guidance videos, you get to chat with me directly in my private free mobile app, you get entered into a drawing for free readings from me every month you are a member. I will have 18 plus live readings done for my members, group coaching sessions, twin flame coaching sessions, like counterpart as my guys want me to call it. Other perks, other things. It's a great membership. It's a great investment of your time, money, and energy. Check out the description box below or go to capellawellness.com. Check out the tiers there when you click on the join now button. You can have a 14-day free trial for some of the tiers. Check it out. No obligations. If you cancel it, fine. If you don't, fine. And if you get the membership, you keep the membership, you can upgrade or downgrade whenever you want. Okay? It's very easy. Any questions about those memberships, my services, my coaching um, sessions, let me know. Email's in the description. Go to capellawellness.com, fill out the contact form, and reach out to me. Okay? All right, Taurus, that concludes your reading. Thank you so very much for watching this video, for subscribing to this channel if you haven't already, and for illuminating that thumbs up button. I would greatly appreciate it. I wish you the best today. Always, I send you so, so much love, and I hope I illuminated your well-being today. Again, this is Jess Faith from Capella Wellness. Starry out.